Simone Barlam goes in line three. Timothy Hodge in four. Ugo Didier in five. Barry McClements in six. And we've seen Simone Barlam have extremely fast starts in his events so far. The 100 fly, the 100 freestyle. He's gone out really fast and let the others play catch up. Is it going to be the same tactic for the Italian? Has Tim Hodge got left in the tank? The yellow cap of Australia goes in lane number four. Ugo Denier, one lane down. Simone Barlam, one lane up from that yellow cap. It was the yellow cap of Tim Hodge who got the best reaction off the start signal for Australia. But as expected, Simone Barlam and Italy getting the best use of the underwater. And we can see here he's doing his trademark fast first 50 it doesn't matter what stroke he's swimming and he's going into the turn first he touches 29.08 just over half a second lead from Ugo Didier and Tim Hodge currently in third position well Barlam still has the lead there as they're coming down those long arms of Simone Barlam is ahead of Ugo Didier Tim Hodge in third place Barlam now coming into the 50 meter marker here comes Ugo Didier his trademark fast finish I think it might go to the Italian though it is going to be Simone Barlam I think for another title he stretches he takes it in 59.72 and that is inside the world record mark by a huge margin, Simone Barlow takes another world record at these championships. That was incredible. Ugo Didier also inside the old world record mark in second place. What does the Frenchman have to do to get a gold medal? And in third spot, it was Timothy Hodge. What a race that was, Liz. Well, it was incredible. It was promising a lot of anxious moments for the spectators because it really could have gone anywhere but no one would have seen the leap of time coming there this was one of the most hotly contested finals at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo it was very close on that day it was Tim Hodge who was the best of this group of athletes that you're seeing here but tonight Simone Rallam has moved the dial dipping under that 60 second barrier well, we thought Simone Barlam would go out fast. That's exactly what he did. He had a lead of around about half, set, half a second ahead of Didier, ahead of Hodge. The Frenchman was the one who powered ahead of the Australian, trying to catch Simone Barlam down that second 50. But the Italian was absolutely sensational. He hung on, he reached for the wall, he's under the one minute mark. He's improved the world record by over a second. Simone Barlam takes the goal for Italy. Ugo Didier inside the old world record in the silver medal position and Timothy Hodge takes the bronze.